Okay, guys, we are live for Tomb Raider. Now, I'm pretty excited for this one. Because, uh, this is a game I played in my childhood that I sucked at. But I used to play it with my, um, I used to watch my uncle play it all the time. So, yeah, I would hang out with my uncle and we would just sit back. Uh, and I would um, watch him explore the tombs of uh, Tomb Raider 1, especially Tomb Raider 1. So um, let's go ahead and jump into it. Uh, here we are. And there I am. Oh, whoa, what happened to my fade? I do not have the fade anymore. I'll have to add that back in. Usually it fades in. I, I actually prefer if it, if it, uh, um, if it fades, if my webcam fades in. I like that more. But um, let's go ahead and turn the music off. So hey everyone, my name is Trocity and welcome to my Tomb Raider live stream. We are playing Tomb Raider 1. Um, this game came out, um, was re-released back in February. And it was picking up a lot of traction. A lot of people were coming back to play this game and I did too. And I did not finish any of these games, but I got pretty far into Tomb Raider 1. So, let me get to make sure this audio sounds good. Um, let's make sure everything sounds good. Um, I'll keep the audio low. Well, actually, hold on. Let me see how it sounds. Let me just test it out real quick. Um, I mean that should be fine. Yeah, I think that should be that should be good. Uh, yeah. So anyways guys, welcome to Tomb Raider. We are going to do the opening uh, intro, which is, uh, where is it at? Uh, Laura's home. So this part right here, it's kind of like a tutorial section. Uh, I'm gonna go through it very, very briefly. Very, very briefly. It kind of just explains the controls of the game. So I'll put the audio up. Welcome to my home. I'll take you on a guided tour. Mm-hmm. I'm just gonna put the audio up so you guys can hear our girl Laura Croft. Laura. Uh, here we go, Laura. Back to the days of busting our legs and- Use the D-pad oh. to go into the music room. Alright, cool. Oh yeah, lighting. Jeez, I forgot about that. Um... I'm gonna put it up a little bit, like probably 15. See how that looks. Make sure it looks good. Okay, cool. All right, let's go. Let's go, Laura. This is a, a tutorial section, guys. You don't have to do this. Completely optional, but playing different things um, will unlock you different achievements, and so is doing this. So let's go ahead and jump in here. Okay, let's do some tumbling. Press the jump button. Now press it again and quickly press one of the directions and I'll jump that way. Yep, that's how Laura jumps. She uh, jumps like that. So we can jump sideways, we can jump forward, we could jump backwards. It's very important to learn the controls of this game, guys, because this, <laughs> this whole game just really is based around the controls. It's very important that you learn how to move how to walk, how to run, how to jump, because any wrong executions on your part will get you killed very, very often, so it's important. Ah, uh, the main hall. Sorry about the crates. I'm having some things put into storage and the delivery people haven't been yet. Yep. So we'll go ahead and go walk around real quick. Let's see here. So I'll let Laura do the talking, honestly. Run up well. to a crate and while still pressing forward, Press action, and I'll vault up onto it. Yeah, so when she says action, she's referring to PlayStation controls or what you would do on a PlayStation controller, which would normally be, I believe it's the X button on the controller. So I actually switched my controls. Um, so the action button is on my RT, on my right trigger, instead of the X or the... Uh, a button on my controller. Also, how's the stream looking? Is the stream good? I just want to make sure that's good. All right, so that's what that does. Anyways, 
Moving on here, we have the next room. She's got a lot of stuff. Here we go. This used to be the ballroom, but I've converted it into my own personal gym. What do you think? Well, let's do some exercises. All right, let's do it. I don't actually run everywhere. When I want to be careful, I walk. Hold down the walk button and walk to the white line. So the walk button for me is my RB button. So if I hold it down, With I'll walk. With the walk button down, I won't fall off even if you try to make me. Go on, try it. So yeah, the walk button allows her to... If you want to look to... around, press and hold the look button. Oh, jeez. Then press in the direction you want to look. Okay. The walk button lets you walk around. No matter how much I move around while walking, I will not fall off. Um, and the look button is the LB button which allows me to look around. This is going to be important when you want to get a better perspective of the room you're in. It's pretty useful. You know, this is a useful function and so is the walk button so you don't fall off. Anyways, let's go ahead and drop down and move on to number two. If a jump is too far for me, I can grab the ledge and save myself from a nasty fall. Walk mm -hmm. to the edge with the white line until I won't go any further. Yep. Then press jump immediately, followed by forward. And while I'm in the air, press and hold the action button. Okay, so jump, hold forward, and hold the action button. So jump, forward, press hold forward, the action button. Press forward, and I'll climb up. And she climbs up. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, pretty good, pretty good. Let's go on to number three. If I do a running jump, I walk to the edge with the white line until oh, I, I stop. I hate when that happens, guys. It then happens all the time. Then let go of walk and tap backwards to give me a run up. Press forward and almost immediately press and hold the jump button. Okay, Laura. I won't actually jump until the last minute. Okay. Can you tell can you say that again without speaking over yourself, please? She always does that and it kind of like irritates me cuz I want to hear what she's saying, but she Can you say it again? Oh, whatever. Anyways, uh what she's saying is is that this is one of those spaces where if I jump forward, <coughs> I'm gonna bump into it. Actually, yeah, no, that was the wrong button. Hold on. Uh, let me see. Basically, what she's saying is that we need a running start to get this. Because if I jump and hold forward, I can make the jump, as you guys saw there. But what she's trying to say is, is that what we can do, instead of doing that, we can stop. We can walk up to the line, press back then jump and then we'll land on top of the block rather than grabbing onto it. So that makes it a little easier. So number four. Right, this is a really big one. So do a running jump said. exactly as before, except while I'm in the air, press and hold the action button to make me grab the ledge. Okay, so this is, so that was two blocks. And that was one block. So you got to keep in mind that this game kind of runs on a grid system. So these, this is like three blocks away. Kind of like, I guess you could say kind of like Minecraft. I know that's a weird comparison, but it's very accurate. A very accurate comparison. But essentially what we want to do is we want to run, jump, hold the action Guys. button, and hold forward. And she'll grab on. So that's how that works. All right, cool. Let's jump over here. Try to vault up here. Press forward and hold action. Mm -hmm. I can't climb up because the gap is too small. Yep. But press right and I'll shimmy sideways until there is room. Yep. Then press forward. So this is also very important, guys, for doing things in the game. All, all of these things that she's... Tap backwards and I'll jump off backwards. Immediately press and hold the action button and I'll grab the ledge on the way down. So this is important because this will save her from taking a lot of damage. If she drops like this, she'll take less damage. But if we just walk right off the walk right off the edge and the drop is pretty big, uh, she will take damage from that. So that's pretty important. All of these controls that the game is teaching you is very very. Let's important. go for a swim. Yep. The jump button and the directions move me around underwater. Yep. Let's go. Wait, can she talk while underwater? Okay, I was gonna say like, so yeah, we can, you know, we can sprint, we can move left, right, like, you know, your usual like basic controls when swimming around, but uh, you do have a gauge or like a, um, 
oxygen so you got to keep in mind that if you run out you will die or you'll start drowning so yeah this is kind of how swimming works and we'll go <sighs> here oh air just yep. use forward and left and right to maneuver around on the surface yep press jump to dive down for another swim about or go to the edge and press action to climb out mm -hmm. so if i press that button she'll go back down wait actually hold on is action okay no no that's a different button so yeah, it is the um, it's, it's the A button for me, and that's fine. All right, cool. So let's go ahead and hold forward right. and climb up. Now I'd better take off these wet clothes. Uh, okay, and that's that's it. That's all it is. It's just it's very basic. It's very straightforward, guys. It's just an extra little feature. I did want to show it at least. You know what I mean? Cause it's it's oh, don't look at that. Uh, that's uh, that's all my save files. You're gonna probably end up seeing all of that. But anyways, let's go ahead and begin. We're about seven minutes. About seven minutes. Uh, not seven minutes, 18 minutes. But seven minutes uh, into the stream. So let's go ahead and get started. Welcome to Tomb Raider. Wow. Tell that this is a game from 1996. It's crazy. So there was some kind of explosion? Revealing something... Something below. Can I see what it is? What is that? Oh... Okay. Is it a volume up? It is up. Okay, it is up. What's a man got to do to get that kind of attention from you? It's hard to say exactly, but you seem to be doing fine. Well, great. Though truth is, it ain't me that wants you. Oh? No, Miss Jacqueline Natla does, from Natla Technologies. Oh, my goodness. You know, creator of all things bright and beautiful. <laughs> Seal it, Larson. Ma'am. <laughs> Larson. Feast your eyes on this, Lara. How does that make your wallet rumble? <laughs> I'm sorry. I only play for sport. Then you'll like a big park. Peru. Vast mountain ranges to cover. Wow. Sheer walls of ice. Rocky crags. Savage winds. And there's this little trinket. An age-old artifact of mystical power is buried in the unfound tomb of Qualapec. How do you know That's about my that? interest. Mm. You could leave tomorrow. Are you busy tomorrow? Uh, I guess not. Because <laughs> we're going already. Damn. Here we are, guys, in Peru, looking for the artifact. And this is our... Our guide. Bringing us up here. I always found it pretty cool that she goes here with a guide, like someone helping her find the tomb. I mean, it makes sense. You know, she's climbing up there. It's like, I'm curious to know, like, how does she know that that opens the door? That's pretty cool. Laura, Laura is very, very intelligent. She really is. Uh-oh. That's right. There's wolves. God, man, this game <laughs> has not aged well, guys, as you can see. From these cutscenes, and obviously Laura using her dual pistols. Look at that. Nice. But it's too late for that guy. He's gotten got eaten up by those wolves. Yeah, a large majority of the enemies in this game are animals. <laughs> I'll say animals, quick rotations. Because <laughs> that's not always the case. But anyways, welcome to the very first level of Tomb Raider. I'm actually going to go... Oh, oh, we're going to get into that real quick. Um, I'm going to drop the sound to like 
15. I mean, it, the game is pretty loud enough to where you'll hear it, but essentially, um, this is the remastered edition. If you ever want to switch to the old graphics, just press the start button, and there you go. This is PS1 graphics, and this is the new graphics on PC, Xbox, and PlayStation, and, and the Switch, because this game came out literally on everything. So you can get this game on the Switch, on PlayStation 5, on the new Xbox, PlayStation, or excuse me, PC, it's available everywhere, so there's no way you can't have access to this game. It's, I was going to get it on the Switch, but I've learned time and time again that, that PC is just the way to go, guys. It makes things easier. So here we are in the first level. Uh, Laura is looking up there because that's where her the game is telling us to go. But right up here is going to be our first secret in the game. Go ahead and jump up here, slide down, and climb up. Um, this secret... Is the very first and we get a oh wow they changed oh they updated it oh that's cool they made they put like a handprint instead of like the explanation point that's cool before it was the uh, explanation point um when there was an item of interest to pick up but now it's just like her hand which uh, makes sense it makes looks meh, yeah it makes sense makes lets you know that you can pick that up you know so that's cool they are always updating this game so this game does get a lot of support from the devs so which which is pretty cool right here we have our first enemy type bats they're pretty basic they don't do a lot of damage but they're kind of annoying so we can pull our guns out and we can shoot we have infinite ammo which is cool and i like using lt to pull my guns out and rt to shoot it's just what i'm used to with modern controls honestly guys now this is the next secret right here which is a pain to reach up to and i always have a hard time getting up here and i try a lot very often honestly to get up here now someone said um i saw a comment before on a video that um the idea with getting up here is that you have to not i think you have to like not be moving it's either you have to not be moving or you have to be in motion when you do this when you try to climb up here but this one is was yeah see this one always gives me a hard time because this is the second secret in the level and um for, for whatever reason laura just does not grab onto the edge sometimes doing this um will help you and then other times it doesn't so this is where i this is honestly where i spend a majority of my time in the first level is this part right here and this is a very short level one of the shortest levels in the game this level only takes honestly if you speed run it it, it, it will take less than five minutes to finish um the very first level but this one this one i i struggle with very much and i don't know why even with the tips online, I have a hard time getting up there. But let's try. You know, we'll try it again. So let's go ahead and jot up. Nope. But yeah. Unfortunately. Yeah, so it's like right here. Or was it that you have to not be so close? No, because she just jumps into the wall. Yeah. Come on, Laura, please. Listen, I know this is the one secret that I struggle the most with in the game, but please, I don't want to deal with this today. Um, I'm honestly, guys, I've, I've just literally started. A part of me probably should have practiced this uh, beforehand, before coming here, but, you know. I've gotten this secret so many times, and I still struggle to climb up here for whatever reason. All right, Laura. Just... Or is it, like, the way you're looking at the wall? Because this is, like, the highest point right here. And if I... How about that? God, you're, like, literally... Laura, you're literally grabbing the wall. Oh, don't side jump. Yeah, so, yeah, this one I have a hard time with, guys, honestly. Come on, Laura. You're, like, you are touching the wall, you know. Your hands are literally grabbing the ledge. But, yeah, see, when I press up, she keeps moving her body like that. And I don't know if that's helping or making this harder for me. But, all right, let's try the other way. If I run at this ledge, 
from the right angle, I can actually grab onto onto it this way too. I've done it like this before. But it's very, very like you gotta time it properly. Come on, Laura, please. Don't 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 make this difficult for me. Oh jeez. This is why I spend so much of my time in the caves. <laughs> this is the first level. The first level is called Caves, by the way. The game doesn't tell you um, the name of the level unless you go into your menu and look at it. Because uh, whenever you save the game, by the way, which is another cool thing about this game, is that you can save wherever you want, uh, whenever you want. Whereas in the original version, there were like these save points that you get that can kind of be a... A, could be a good and a could be a good thing and a bad thing because you know the save points are kind of spread out and they go away you know there's no infinite saving in this game the save point goes away after you save okay Laura please oh my god yep welcome to Tomb Raider all right what if I got, like, a running jump? I don't think that works. Oh. She kind of slid a little forward there. Come on, Laura, please. Just grab the edge. Like, I don't want to be... I don't want the next two hours for me to be standing in front of this wall on level one. Please grab onto the edge i i can obviously see that there's a secret why did they make this difficult okay that's the other thing too like tomb raider is not known for being an easy game it is a very challenging game and it's not a game for everybody okay you know you can come to this game with remastered graphics but if you're not familiar with playstation 1 games or that era of video games this is going to be very jarring for some people i mean the controls are kind of are from the uh, ps1 Come on, Laura. Come on, Laura. Please. Do I have to just... I know it's something to do... Oh, jeez, Laura. Oh, my God. See, I know there's... I knew it was something to do with the controls. It was something I was pressing that just wasn't working was not working in the way i wanted it to so you know what whatever i i never understand what actually triggers laura to grab the ledge and what doesn't but you know um oh i know what it is oh that's what it is i figured it out i have to just hold forward and press the action button and then she just grabs it okay well that makes more sense because i kept pressing the jump button what I'm supposed to do is hold the action button, the action button, and then press up, and she just grabs it automatically. All right, you know what? I'm gonna need to remember that because uh, I always thought you had to jump and then press action, but that's just it's really weird. Anyways, continuing on. Now that we've gotten past that, I, I really want to <laughs> beat this level. This level is very short, and in no way am I gonna be like speed running this game. But if I know the level's short and we can get through it and a short amount of time i'm just gonna blast right through it guys there's this first level is pretty self-explanatory we're just kind of going through the level and making our way to the end of it here we have a lover yeah see they did change that uh icon interesting die bats all right so we're just gonna jump on right up here um but yeah i've gotten to about about 75 to 80 percent of this game done i was at the final area and i didn't get that far into it unfortunately but it's all good you know it's all good am i gonna miss any drops i haven't actually been paying attention to that i don't think i'm gonna stress over me oh there's the wolves i'm not gonna stress over getting um everything but i definitely want to get the secret i want to get all the secrets if i can guys because the secrets do help make the game a little bit more easier because you know secrets give you ammo and it gives you health it just gives you a lot of good resources um whenever you find a secret so that's kind of what i'm gonna focus on is trying to find 
as many secrets. Now this, I'm going to sometimes switch between old graphics and new graphics just to show you guys the difference. Like that statue over there. Oh man, it's crazy. Sometimes it's hard to believe because like when I was a kid and playing this game, I thought that these graphics looked like this, you know? It's 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 very easy when you're a kid to see like old video game graphics as a kid and think, "Oh my god, this game looks amazing." But I was what the hell? I know there's a bear. Oh, there it is. I know there's a bear down there. But I want to shoot it. Let's see if I can get Laura to to shoot it. There it is. Yeah, the bears are no joke. They do a lot of damage, and they're very aggressive. Um, I almost fell down. Jeez. Where the hell did it go? All right, hold on one sec. Laura, just jump across. Uh, hello? There you are. Oh, my God. Come over here. If you think I'm jumping down there to deal with you, it is not happening. Oh, jeez. Nope. There we go. Oh, he's dead. Okay, cool. Um, so I'm actually going to drop down here because um, there is some good stuff down here for us to pick up. Obviously, I'm not going to drop into a bear pit with a live active bear that's going to kill me. But, you know, uh, we're going to drop down here. Hold on. Bats. There we go. Um, yeah, I actually prefer the controls that I have because I'm so used to modern controls, guys, that me pressing LT and then RT is so quick and seamless to just press uh, that button because the original controls would have you pressing, like, I think, what is it? On the, on the PlayStation, it would be the square button and then pressing the X button. On my controller, it would be the X... I think it's the... Wait, no, actually, no, it's triangle. What am I talking about? Um, it's triangle and then pressing either the X or the, um, it's not the circle. It's definitely X. Um, but I like having the triggers because it makes it a lot easier. Just boop, go like this. I can just go like this and go like, and then start shooting. Um, another, another thing that they have changed about this game compared to the original is that in this game... In the remastered version, there's always some kind of ambient noise playing in the background. Whereas in the original game, <clears throat> there, uh, you know, the music would go away. Eventually, the music would stop playing and then it would be quiet again. But in the remastered version, there's always ambient noise. At least from my playthrough, that's what I've noticed. Um, and you can obviously turn it off. But if you turn it off, you're not going to hear music when there's enemies attacking you. Like when an enemy surprise. Um, attacks you so I mean yeah what's very effective about having no sound or no music in the game is that when an enemy jumps out of nowhere and it's very quiet it tends to scare players a lot more often when you're quiet sitting in a room in complete silence and then something just jumps right in front of you it has a, a pretty good effect of scaring the crap out of you and it will probably happen to me many times while I'm playing this game um, so let me go ahead and just grab this real quick. So yeah, recommend grabbing as much med kits, um, and as much ammo as possible. Even though our handguns, our pistols have unlimited ammo, we're going to pick up other weapons that do not have, um, infinite ammo and we're going to have to find ammunition for it. But anyways, going in here, we have our first music encounter. The game lagged for a second there. What wolves... And when this music starts playing, it's very easy to start freaking out because you don't know what's going to attack you. So this happens very often. The game will play music like this, letting you know that there is something that is trying to kill you. And the music doesn't go away until the track is over. So it'll keep playing the entire time. But there's actually a secret in here. And walking in here will play the sound, which will stop the music. <laughs> Which is always funny to me, like the music stops playing when that sound effect uh, cues in, so the music's gone now. But uh, whenever you hear that music playing, just know bad things are going to happen. There's enemies trying to attack you or appearing out of nowhere, so um, it's really effective at creating um, stress and being paranoid about what's around you, honestly. Um, pretty effective.
But anyways, some more med kits. Now, let me see here. I think that's everything. Now, if you ever want to just take a look um, in your inventory, you have the pistols, which you can equip, but I can just do that by pressing a button. Uh, we have our large medi packs, which will heal you fully, and these heal you for about 50% of your health, the small medi packs. Uh, but the compass, uh, if you press A on the compass, you can see the dungeon you're in, or dungeon, the level you're on, uh, the time. All the secrets and the pickups. So we're actually doing pretty good. Um, there's one more pickup and I know where it's at. Um, but usually this level would take you about five minutes to be... Like, honestly, it's not a long level. When you know what you're doing, it really does not take a lot of time. But anyways, let's go ahead and finish up this first level. I mean, there's not much to, to say about it, honestly. Let's jump over here. Also, this level, this this lever is time activated, so we have to hurry up. Otherwise, uh, you know. Oh, and when this music starts playing, that tends to mean that there's traps afoot that are going to try to kill you. So keep that in mind. A lot of the music usually will let you know of some kind of threat or something going on in the game. Or sometimes the game will just play music for it's just just for the hell of it, honestly. But whenever you hear that, this, this song playing, it tends to mean that you're in an area that may or may not have traps. That's, that's just what I've noticed from my playthrough, honestly. But yeah, once the music stops, uh, the, the, yeah, there it is, the, the, the background music starts playing again. But typically, it would be pretty quiet for the most part. All right, going in here, we have the last item there and an ambush. So here's this music playing. Woof. There we go. He's dead. Du, 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 du. I do like this music, honestly. It's pretty... It's nice. Like, I do like it. It's it's not a bad track to invoke worry and panic into the player. Let's go ahead and pull this lever. Honestly. Okay. Yeah, even hearing that part in the song, oh, it always kind of like freaked. It just makes me feel unsettled listening to it. Because I'm just like, is it? Is it over? I don't think it's over. <laughs> like I said, you never know. Never know when something's just going to come and jump out at you. Um, but anyways, my plan for this live stream is to play the first... The first four levels of this game. So this game's broken up into three parts. So this is part one of four levels. So this is level one. So there's three more levels for this first um, part in the game. Um, so there's that. Caves, 18 minutes. Could have done better on time. But, you know, obviously the first or no, the second secret is a pain to get. Um, but we got all the pickups, got all the secrets. And you can see our stats there. Pretty cool. Let's go and jump into level two. Um, so level two, not as linear as the first level. As soon as you get into this area, there's going to be like four or five wolves that are going to try and ambush you. Laura, turn around. No, oh, there's another one. Laura, oh my goodness, God, Laura. Stop, stop jumping. Focus on the wolves. Okay. Um, okay, so this level is not linear. The first level is very easy. Now this is when the game starts to throw a little bit more at you. There's a little freaking bear inside here. Come on, Laura. Climb up. Climb up. Climb up. There's a bear in this room. There it is. <laughs> Alright. Get you, get you. Okay, he's gone. Um, oh, this is funny. I like this guy's face right here when you switch between the old graphics and the new graphics. <laughs> He looks like he's like, meh, and then his face, like, changes. <laughs> I do like that we have a button that can switch us between old graphics and new graphics at any point. I can just be like, 1996. Or, 2024. <clears throat> Which is crazy. Alright, where did that bear go? I don't like when there's a bear roaming around. Where did it go? 
I have no idea. I'm about to drop down and find out. Hello? Bear? Oh, God. Uh, Laura, jump in. Oh. Oh, he's dead. Okay. <laughs> Pretty sick maneuvers there. We did not... We did not get eaten. Okay. <clears throat> um, there are some bats and some more wolves around, so I'll have to keep my guard up. Just watch my back. Make sure... Oh, there's one right there. Yep, there we go. Didn't even see it coming. He just got destroyed. Um... Yeah, this button I'm pressing is allowing me to do like a little backflip to turn around. It's a really quick way of turning around. That's the B button that I'm pressing. Honestly, guys, I don't play I don't play PlayStation, so whatever button is B for you guys, press that button. Oh, die bear, uh, bears, bats. Excuse me. It's a bat bear. <laughs> All right, uh, I think there's um another one over here. I'm just clearing the area out of enemies, guys. Cause look at this one right here, trying to. Trying to jump scare me. Okay, Laura. What are you doing? <clears throat> um, yeah, there's a lot of enemies in here. And as you can see, there's a lot of different paths to take. A lot of different ways for us to go. And it's up to us to find out where to go. And honestly... No matter how much I play and beat this level, guys, this level always kind of throws me off because it's like a big... How do I explain it? <clears throat> oh, hold on. <clears throat> Essentially, the first thing I'm going to tell you to do when you get to this level is to jump right into this water. <clears throat> After you kill the enemies. <clears throat> jump in here. And we're going to... I mean, I need a drink. Hold on, guys. I need a drink, son. <clears throat> My throat's gonna dry. Okay, let me think here. I think the way I want to go is this way. <clears throat> yep. Okay. Um, <clears throat> so there's gonna be these levers on the water. You just want to kind of, you know, hold the action button and pull them. So I'll we'll pull that one first. That reveals a secret in a different room. We'll get to that in a second. Um, but you want to be quick because, you know, you have limited time here because I'm running out of oxygen, so I better hurry up. Let's go ahead and do this one. Here we go. Oh, God. I know. I know, Laura. I know. I know. All right. Here's our next or no, our first secret, which is this room right here. Let's go ahead and grab that. And uh, we're going to pull this awesome awesome that brings us back to the main room but I'm gonna go ahead and dive back in also to do the dive that Laura is doing you want to press the right bumper and she will automatically do the dive uh, when you jump which you know just kind of cool you know the whole, whole little dive kind of like how uh, um, when Link jumps in the water in Ocarina of Time when you, he jumps off Gerudo Valley kind of like that vibe wonder if they wait which game came first mm, I think this game came before Ocarina I think what was Ocarina 97 or 96 this game came out in 96 all right cool um, there's actually an achievement you can get if you come up and walk over to these snakes just walk up to it and look at it that's all you have to do to get it <clears throat> um, but that's it um, in this room is our second secret. Um, besides that, there really wouldn't be any reason to come in here except for coming to get this secret. All right, so here's our first example of ammo. This is Magnum ammo, and we're not going to get the Magnum until the second, second, is it the second? The second part of this game. We're in the first section, so in the next area, we'll have the option to get that. Because um, the weapons in this game, um, you have to kind of, you know, find them. Um, the game... So, okay, to kind of talk about that, right? I'm trying to remember here. Um, so what do we got? We got the pistols, you know, you get a shotgun, you get the magnums, and then you get the Uzi. Um, the game is pretty... 
nice about giving you the shotgun and the magnums because if you miss it on one section the game will try to give it to you again at a later point but there's only one pair of uzis to get in this game so if you don't find the uzis you're not gonna get them again so i'll get to that point when i get to that point um that's just one thing to keep in mind is that the shotgun the magnum the shotgun and the magnum are pretty the game's pretty good about giving you um, the chances to pick up those weapons, you know, because they spawn at different points. Um, okay, let me see. What that? Oh, all right. Okay, I remember. I remember. Um, there is a lever I have to pull somewhere around here. Oh, uh, this one right here. Okay, here we go. Um, but, uh, you know, I'm going to get all the weapons that I can and get all of the ammunition that i can all right cool also this is something really cool right so in tomb raider you tend to be underground but in the re in the remastered version the remastered version allows you to see more of the outside parts of the level whereas usually you would feel like you were underground um some people prefer the idea of being underground while some say hey like i like that we can see outside oh my god the game needs to stop doing that got this music here playing the game is like bugging out every time music plays um but yeah there's a section where go here there's a right here is this another example yeah see you can see outside typically uh in the original game that wasn't a thing it would just be you know like that but um i kind of like the idea of feeling like I'm underground rather than me feeling like I'm very close to the surface because that's what made the game that's what made you feel like you were alone because when you're playing this game you're by yourself there's no one here with you it's just you Laura Croft and a lot of animals and quiet quiet sections especially if you're playing the original and the remastered you know there's obviously music or some kind of some kind of ambient music playing in the background but the point is, is that um, being far underground by yourself is a very scary thought when, um, oh, jeez. Um, oh, stop, 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 stop. Okay. Being by yourself deep underground with a bunch of animals that are savages trying to kill you it's a scary thought because you don't know what's going to jump out at you you know so i mean it's cool uh let's see here let's go ahead and grab this this is a import this is important we need this to uh finish the level and then we need this there's two key items in here you need both of them there's that and then there's this key uh, and both of these will get us out of this level. Um, and if we want to get out of here, we can just go up this way. Um, and just real quick though, how, okay, so one more see. Okay, yeah, so no, we're doing, we're doing pretty good, um, in this level, honestly. Let's go ahead and drop down, roll over, roll over. <laughs> okay, Laura, you're not a dog. <laughs> but, yeah. Let's go ahead and get to the spot where I used the key. All right. Here we go. Hmm. All right, what do we got? Oh, God's sakes. Okay. Ow. All right. Okay. I know there's wolves in here. Where are they? Oh, God. There's one behind me. Where are you guys? Come on. Laura. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad. Okay. We dealt with them. Pretty good, pretty good. All right, so here's where platforming starts to become a very important thing in this next part right here. Platforming is very important. It's helped to prevent you from dying. One thing I have not done yet, guys, 
is I have not made a save. So I'm gonna do a save right now and you're gonna see all my saves from other levels I was playing. So, let's go ahead and make my way up here. And we get that classic Tomb Raider music playing. I do like this theme song, it's pretty good. Kinda gives you that sense of explo- Okay, here we go. That's what, that's exactly, that's what I'm talking. You know what, here. Reload. That's why we have these save points. And I will be doing a lot of reloading, guys. I really will. I just want to hear this music in full without me falling into the water. All right, here we go. So yeah, the music is very good in this game. Love it. This main theme song really brings back a lot of memories for people. Honestly, I, used to, I remember playing this game um, with my uncle and watching him play. And uh, he had all three of them. And one of the biggest reasons why I want to finish this game or actually beat this game is because my uncle used to play it and uh, he unfortunately passed away a long time ago, but I want to live up to those memories that I had with my uncle and beat this game, you know, because it's it means something to me. Even if it's a game that I didn't play a lot of, I mainly watched my uncle play it and then whenever I played it, I sucked at it. I still want to finish it, you know, I want to beat this game. And I got pretty far. Shotgun shells, nice. But, you know. Alright, let's go ahead and drop down here. Safely. And I think there's some, yeah, there's some stuff over here. Cool. So I got some a health pack right here. And then we have... Uh, we'll go ahead and... Yep, okay. Oh, wrong door, wrong door, Laura. That's not the door we're going through. We're going through this door. Okay, this part. Now these uh, platforms right here break um, if you stand on them. So we're gonna try and not do that, honestly. So, let me see. Okay, yeah, that's actually easier for me because I can just walk up to the ledge and grab on like that and then I could do the same thing here okay okay here yep all right where am I going from here okay I can jump here all right this is probably a point where I want to save the game because it's very easy to mess it's easy for me to mess this up I am not a professional at this game guys okay I I am not okay cool so city of whatever this is a city. It's pretty cool to think about that. Like, just the background to these places. Um, it really is. Okay, cool. Alright, now this is... Okay, no, it's not yet. Okay. Just make sure I look around. Alright, this is the lever I need to pull. I'm gonna pull this one. All right. Uh, need to drop down real quick, right here. Uh, should be fine. Okay, and then drop down here. Okay, cool. And drop. There we go. Awesome. All right, so here's another trap. Do not walk into those because they hurt a lot. They hurt big time. All right. <laughs> Already dying. Also, one thing to point out, um, if you finish a level and you have like little to no health, uh, the game will automatically heal you. I do see that bear up there running around. Um, I'll get him in a second. I'm gonna go around this way just to be safe. And then the music starts, yeah. Okay, so this should... Let's see what this does. Okay, so that opens that door. So there's two doors there. There's that gate and then there's another like stone wall. 
Um, that's why we got that artifact, so that we can put it in there to open it. Now, where is this bear at? This bear is always a pain to kill, guys, because he runs around a lot. And he also runs upstairs. You're going to see him appear on the other side over there. Stairs, bears. Bear stairs. <laughs> I was just thinking of a joke I heard. From someone else who was playing this game. Come over here. How did you get up there, bear? Oh, is he dead? Oh, he is dead. Very good, very good. Yeah. Alright, cool. Now, let's go over to this side. Because I need to go up here. There is a, another lever, lever here. I think this actually stops the traps, doesn't it? Ah, uh, yes, it does. Okay, cool. Uh, okay, the bear is dead. Sadly. And then, <laughs> um, the next secret is actually in this part right here. If you go right here, you'll see our next secret. See what we got. Oh, cool. Some, um, is that Uzi's? Yeah, that is Uzi Clips. Um, is that everything in here? Oh, it is. Cool. All right, cool. We got all three secrets and all 13, um, pickups. So I'm pretty happy with that. Let's go ahead and finish this level. Um, let's see here. Do, 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 do. Gonna make my way over here. And we're gonna drop down. Laura, there you go. Cool. All right. Now we'll go ahead and use that tablet here. And now we have an entryway, or excuse me, an exit out of level two. So that's level two. Took about 18 minutes. Not too bad, honestly. Let's go ahead and jump into level three which is a little bit more challenging quite a bit more challenging but we can do it so the first thing i'm gonna say is that um i want to come over here first um this area is a little bit more challenging but uh i'll get through it i will get through it i've gotten pretty good with the um okay this is why, Justin, you don't open your mouth, okay? Like, seriously, you just were about to say, I got really good at the platforming in this game from playing it a lot, and here we are messing up. All right, so we got some wolves right here. I'm honestly just gonna jump and run right by them. Or not. Or not. Okay, Laura, please kill him. Screw you wolves. Thank you. Okay, so yes. <laughs> I uh, am not as good as I was saying I was. Laura just completely fell over. It's fine. It's fine. We got this. We got this. Alright. So we run. And we jump. Turn around. We run. And we jump. And then we go here. And we jump. And then we go like this. Alright. There we go. There we go. That's how you get up there. Okay, cool. Um, so you don't have to go this way. The only reason I'm going this way is to get something. Um, just so that I have it with me. And that is something pretty nice. We're going to go right now. Okay, so this right here. Uh, we are going to need three valves to do this and um hold on one second hold on i'm curious uh okay never mind we need to get three valves to get this done guys to get this level done um that's gonna be something that happens a lot in this game is finding three <laughs> three items to finish the level or to, to, to do something in the level 
But uh, I want to come over here real quick um, because there's a secret back here. Which I find very interesting that Laura can just walk on water like this without being carried away by it. But I guess it's... I mean, I guess it's shallow, but still, it's kind of... It's kind of weird. Alright, so... Uh, there's nowhere from, for her to jump from here, honestly. So the only way to go is this way. But there is... I forget where it's at, honestly. Oh, I know where it's at. And if I could fight this water, I would show you guys. But unfortunately, I cannot. So we're just going to drop back down. And if I haven't said this already, there is fall damage in this game. So do not let Laura fall. Because she... It, it's, it's really horrible. It's really bad how she dies. She first starts by screaming, followed by her legs snapping and her looking like a rag doll on the ground. So it's not pleasant. And I don't like seeing it happen to Laura. So we're going to try to not let that happen to her. But it's probably going to happen uh, very, very often. Alright, so that was the first thing, was getting that secret. But the next thing is uh, coming over here and um, going for the other secret. Oh, wait. I think I remember where it's at, actually. Hold on. I forget. Hold on, hold on. It's, um, I think it's near the bridge. We'll be able to find uh, what it is that I'm looking for. So let me just go back around. Okay. Come on, Laura. Okay. This way. Okay. Um, alright, so it's gonna be right around here. I should be able to see it, right? Oh, there it is. Okay. Um, it's right there. You may not be able to see it, but there is... Hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Laura, grab that. Right here. It's very subtle. Very easy to miss. You will eventually come this way. Eventually, yes, you would come this way. But right here is the shotgun. Which is very helpful in a body. Someone's skeleton is just hanging out here. But, you know, doesn't look so bad in the original game. But in the remake or the remastered, it looks pretty bad. Alright, so, um... Yeah, so we got the shotgun there. Uh, let me see. What's actually over here? Have I gone this way before? I'm curious, actually. Have I gone this way? Like, what's over here? Doesn't this bring me somewhere else? Hold on. Wait a minute. Have I gone this way before? I'm pretty sure you end up going this way to beat the level, right? Or something like that. Hold on. Let me see doing a little bit of exploration guys and, and wait what the hell did i just oh 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 okay this is different this is not what i was expecting i okay um oh oh if i had to guess oh hey light how's it going if I had to guess, I need the water to come in here to either bring me to another location or get a secret. You know, guys, I've beaten this level many times, but I always forget forget what this entryway leads to. How's it going, Light? Thank you for joining the stream and giving a like. I always, always, always appreciate that. How is that uh, Dark Souls experience going? I shall soon one day be joining that experience Hopefully, mm, this month, or if not this month, next month. But we play some Dark Souls. Nice, nice. How's that going? All right, so we can't. Let's just jump back in. Go, Laura. Jump on in. Okay. Oh, I just heard her slightly scream. I just heard it. Laura, it's okay. It's gonna be okay. Die, wolves, die. Any more wolves? No? Oh, okay. Oh, that's pretty cool, though, Light, that you're playing um, more uh, Dark Souls, you know? I beat the hardest boss in Dark Souls 1. 
on my second try on my second account, which is crazy to me. Um, what makes him so difficult? Honestly, let's drop down. Let's go ahead and go down here. Oh, God. Oh, jeez. Okay. Laura. Thank you. Um, there's no reason for me to come over here, guys. But I wanted to show you this. If you look up here, you can see that there's a sky. Look at the sky. Well, back in 1996, there was no sky. <laughs> As you can see, there was no sky. <laughs> But now there is. <laughs> um, also, going back to the original graphics does allow me to see better and darker areas, which is not great for the game. I'm not sure if they implemented like a brightness setting option yet. I haven't looked into that. But that would be nice um, if we could see better and in the dark. But I have to switch to old graphics um, to see it, honestly. All right, wait, where are we going? Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. I'm getting all turned around. We need to go this way. We need to find the three, the three valves. How are we doing? How are we doing? We're doing pretty good. Uh, we're at, it's about to be nine o'clock. We're on level three and I'm pushing to finish this level and also beat level four, which level four isn't too long, but it's confusing as all hell. Um, oh, dinosaurs. Hello, dinosaurs. Any more dinosaurs? Also, you can see the sky. Oh, there's another dinosaur. There we go. Jeez. Um, you can see the sky. But back in 1996, that kind of technology wasn't possible. So instead of seeing the sky, you saw nothing but blackness, which made you feel like you were inside, inside some kind of cave. Which this one, I prefer it looking like this because it looks really creepy. Um, it makes it feel like anything could just jump out of the dark and it makes it feel like you're under a cave But once again when you have this you don't feel like you're under a cave anymore Which kind of takes away from the experience in my opinion, but you know still cool nonetheless I still think it's cool uh, Basically, it's two on one one is one fast and hits a little hard and one is a powerhouse with a hammer and does more Oh a hammer you're reminding me of what's his face from Xenoblade Chronicles what was his name again? Ah, oh, jeez. Zorg? <laughs> Zorg. Alright. Oh, jeez. What did I bump into, game? Um, anyways. What we're gonna do is we're gonna come over here. And I'm jumping right in here, guys. Because... There's a dinosaur! A T-Rex, mind you. Look at him! Ah! Actually, I want to show you guys. Oh, hello, T-Rex. How about PS1 T-Rex? Oh, jeez. Oh, my God. Kill him! Nice, Laura. Now, obviously, in the original game, there was no ho there was no health bar, and that scared the crap out of many people who saw it for the first time. It's a very nostalgic moment for people who uh, played the game for the first time. But yeah, it's combining speed and power. But I beat him on my second try. Nice. That's not bad. It's not bad, right? Speed and power. Monado speed. <laughs> Alright, cool. I think it's time for me to take my hat off, guys. Sometimes when I wear this hat long enough, I, I get I end up feeling like... I end up feeling like it's just pulling on my, on my, ha my hair too much. Oh my goodness. I don't like it. I feel like I'm going to get a headache wearing it. And it's because my headphones. It's mainly because of the fact that I'm wearing headphones that it <clears throat> really starts to pull down on, on my hat a lot. 
<laughs> but oh, 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 there you go. It's it, it's it's all good. It's all good. Anyways, what are we doing? Looking for secrets. Secrets, secrets, secrets. Where are the secrets? Okay. So one thing about this level, level is that a lot of things are very well hidden, guys. So I'm going to be switching to PS1 graphics to see a little better. Um, so I think there's something up here real quick. It will take you over 30 tries. Yeah, I'm sure it will. A whole live stream's worth of uh, content. Oh, hello. Hello. How's it going? Nice. Okay. Water. Climb up. Ah, Laura. No, Laura. Laura. Climb up. Hold on. Like that. It's a little better. I like that I have a mirror next to me now. It's very convenient. <laughs> my hair looks crazy. <laughs> oh my god. It's because I... Uh, honestly, on the weekdays, i rather just put a hat on. I don't feel like gelling my hair up or doing my hair on the weekdays. After I get... After I take a shower, I just want to be in relax mode and... You know, unless I plan on doing a stream on a Friday or Saturday night, then maybe. There's our first gear. That's the first one we need. And then I need a second one. I was actually really thinking about jumping in the water, but that's very risky. Ow. What the hell? Why does she walk like that? That was weird. All right, all right, let's go, Laura. So that's the first gear, but where are the secrets at? I forget, honestly. Let me, um, let me look around. That's where I ran into, I remember that. And then, um, let me see here. Then there's this here. Okay. A lot of these secrets are very well hidden in this level, guys. They're harder to catch because they're hidden um, within the walls and around the walls. There's like some secret entry ways, like this one, for example, right here. Um, but there are other bosses you will be... Oh, that's not a secret entrance. Never mind. There are other bosses that will be annoyed at that you think are impossible but you will overcome them um yeah like i played okay let me let me give you let me give you an idea okay let me give you an idea of my dark souls experience when i played the first game only one time and sucked at it i started the game i played the game i realized how freaking annoying the enemies were and how sucky I was at the controls I ran past everything and then when I got to a boss I died immediately so that's my Dark Souls experience for you light because that's what happened when I played the game and I don't remember anything else outside of that in all honesty I don't remember anything else okay what Oh, there's this right here. What is it with all these little openings? I guess they're for, like, trying to avoid the Rex, the T-Rex, but still. Don't run past everything. And, and, uh, in Dark Souls? Is that what you mean? Okay, you know what, guys? I'm just gonna get the secrets that I know about. The ones that are standing out to me the most. First one is right here. Climb up this ledge. Um... Jump up. Oh, jeez, Laura. Um, jump up. Laura, please. Oh, my goodness. Gonna be dealing with this now, are we? Alright. Alright, 
climb up here. There we go. That's the ticket. Now jump up here. And then we're going to do a backtrack like that and then jump. Oh my god, I was freaking terrified I was going to bump into the wall. Don't run past... Okay, uh, amazing. Welcome, shiny burrito. Okay, there we go. Secret! We found it. Okay, so one thing I... <laughs> another thing I'm going to say about this game is that sometimes the items kind of blend in with the background. So when you switch to the old graphics, it kind of stands out a little bit more. Like, I didn't even see those Uzi clips right there because it's really blending in with the floor. But if you switch to the old graphics, you can see um, it a little bit better. So, you know, it's another reason to keep that in mind. But, uh, yeah. Alright, I think that's it. Yeah, okay, so how many is that? That's gotta be my first one, right? Oh, no, that's two. Okay, so I remember there was one behind a waterfall. We found one gear. I know where the next one is at. Alright, I'm actually gonna drop a save. I haven't done that in a while, and I have to remind myself to save often because it's gonna suck to die and have to redo stuff over again okay all right there we go there we go and then drag there you go okay cool um all right cool now where is the oh it's over here can i get up there oh no actually no 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 let me go over here first i want to go over here because there is a gear uh, in here. Um, it's gonna be, uh, below here. Just wanna go down here. You're gonna find it all the way down here. That's our second one. There we go. Music cues. Don't know why, but it does. Uh, let me just look around real quick, make sure there's nothing else down here, because sometimes there'll be goodies in the water you can grab. Alright. Alright. There we go. Let's go ahead and, um, move on over here. Climb up here. And let's see what's up here. Might be a secret, or this might lead me to the next. It might actually lead me to the next one. Oh, I think it does. Uh, which is fine. Oh, boy. I got to be careful with that. That was a pretty decent drop. Um, oh, yes. Yep, it is. Okay. Well, that's fine. Okay, cool. So this one is a little challenging because um, it's very easy to miss the bridge. I'm going to make a quick save before doing this. But essentially what you want to do is you want to back up and jump at the last second and grab like that. Otherwise, you're going to bust your legs. You don't want Laura's legs getting busted because it sucks. It sucks for her. It sucks for you. So don't do it. So here's the last one. So that's all three gears for this level. So honestly, we could just finish it. Game. We could just finish it there. Can I just drop down? Will that hurt me? A uh, kind of, but it's not. Wasn't too bad. Fall damage wasn't too bad, but that's all three of the gears. The next thing that I'm missing is. Uh, the remaining secrets, which again are very well hidden, and I have to figure out where they are because the game is pretty good at hiding them. So, let me use my brain real quick and research in the back of my head like, where the heck was I? Where was I when I discovered these secrets uh, in the original game? Alright, so I remembered that, um, I remembered one was, like, tucked away, uh, in a corner somewhere, you know? And I don't know where exactly that's at, but, um, 
It was tucked away in a corner somewhere. Was it this corner? No, stop bumping into that. Uh, was it this corner? No, no, no. Because that's just... Oh, wow. There's no sound effects for the water in the... <laughs> okay, that's that's very... Okay, well, there is right there. Okay, that's that's very... Very weird. Okay, I do see that one. Okay. I see that secret. Which is... Oh, here it is. This is it right here. Here, it is. here we go, guys. Here's the next one. It's right here behind this section right here. There we go. Yeah, that's the one. Okay, cool. And then I think there's another one. Is there another one before you finish the level? I could have sworn there was. I don't remember. Well, I do know that the next secret is up there, but I don't... How do I get up there again? I have to climb up there. Okay. Oh, I will do that. Because I'm uh, pretty good at that. Climb up. Okay. Jump here. Climb here. And then slimmy. Slimmer over. Oh, I see it right there. There is um an opening right there. I'll probably drop down there. Anyways, when you get over here, just pull yourself up right in the middle right here. And you'll get your next secret. Pretty cool. Awesome. Alright, that's a good one. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me make sure I got the secret. Like everything. Because sometimes I miss stuff. Yeah, I did miss something, see? <laughs> I was like... Let me make sure I got everything. Because, again, it's... Sometimes it's hard to see everything uh, in the remastered version, but all right, so cool. Uh, let's go ahead and drop down. Because I think that there might be something over here, but I don't remember. Um, let me see. Oh yeah, that just brings me back over here. All right, well, um, shoot. I actually don't remember, guys, um, where this last secret is at. And I think that the secret, um, gosh, if I had to say, oh, man, where would it be? Would it be after I use the cranks? Gosh, I, I want to say that that's the case, but I don't remember and I kind of want to look it up. <laughs> but, because <clears throat> I don't think there's anything else here. Uh, no. I like uh, DS1 because it's hard. Yeah, I know you like to play games that have a very high difficulty level. And, um, I do too. I don't like games that are easy. I used to love playing, like, the older Pokemon games, but the new Pokemon games are way too easy. So that's a pretty, uh, that's an example of what I mean when I say I don't like games that are so stupid easy because it's not enjoyable anymore. It's just, like, press A to kill. Well, I guess that happens in other games. But anyways, guys, hold on one second here. Because, unfortunately... Um, uh, uh, um, I don't remember. <clears throat> yeah, I remember that. Oh, so I did. I did miss one. Yeah. Oh, is this a guide or just... Oh, no, this is just a guide. Hmm. Interesting. Uh... Do, do, 
Valley. No, it's. <clears throat> Wait a minute. What level is this? This is the Lost Valley, right? It says um. Waterfall and two. Yeah, I remember that. And then. Oh, yeah, that's the one. That's where I was. That is. Yes, that's where it was. I had a feeling that was the secret that I, I knew it was, but I just. Uh, <clears throat> I just wasn't 100% sure. I just want to make sure before I leave because I don't want to come back here, guys. It's a lot of work getting around um, in this area. Okay. <clears throat> that's good enough. Honestly, hmm, I kind of want to keep good on time. Honestly, I don't know. I don't know if I should stop the stream or, or if I should do level four. I mean, level four, it's kind of decent. Let me level four. It's decently long. It's not a short level. Uh, so I'm trying to decide um, if I have time to do level four tonight or if I should say level four for next time. I mean, it's not a big deal. I mean, it's 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 relatively short, but uh, you know, it's just the fact that uh, some puzzles in that part of that level that are a pain to deal. Laura Croft, will you just please go to the old graphics, please? C climb, climb up here, please climb up here. Okay. Okay, come on, come on. Thank you. Go to old graphics. I could see better. Okay. This is gonna be like that one horror game that insta kills you just so you know what I'm referring to. Oh god, not that game. That was the worst horror game I ever played. It was so good in the beginning, but it got really bad over time. You're talking about Song of Horror, huh? That's what you're talking about, like No way you wouldn't be talking about Song of Horror. It's like your favorite live stream. So like most memorable live stream of me was playing Song of Horror. Oh jeez, come on, Laura, what are you doing? Oh my God, what are you doing? Get get up there. Okay, let's get up here. Back up, forward, jump, jump, jump. A little jump. Up. All right, cool. Now we got the cogs. Let's go ahead and go use them. Yay. <laughs> Honestly, guys, I'm not a fan um, of this level, mainly because it is a, it's, to me, it's confusing. This level is very confusing for me. Um, just the layout of it. I like the levels um, in the next section, but the next level uh, is not too bad. Song of Horror is the best horror game because Justin being scared of reason listen 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 that game gave me a lot of mental and emotional issues when playing i was in a state of i was in a whole other place playing that game like a state of fear mental emotional breakdowns we don't talk about that that, that is a game that is long since been finished. A game I never thought I would actually have finished, if I'm being honest. I didn't think I'd finish Song of Horror, but I wanted to be done with it so that, you know, you wouldn't keep bringing it up. <laughs> you should play older Sonic games. Like, yeah, actually, that's a good suggestion. Like, um, I would be definitely down for that. Um, I've thought about doing one. Uh, I, ha I have. I thought about playing Sonic the Hedgehog 2. There we go. But, uh, definitely, like, I can definitely see myself playing Sonic the Hedgehog 2. You know? Alright, now we want to go this way, because this is where the secret is. I don't know if I have time to do level level 4, honestly, because I don't want the live stream to go beyond 10 o'clock, because... You know, I live with Jen now, so I'm trying to keep in mind of her time and my time when we have to, you know, go to bed and get ready for work in the morning. So, you know what I mean? Typically, if I was, if I was just, you know, living by myself, I'd be like, ah, whatever. But, you know, now I have to be mindful of it, which she says it doesn't matter. 
she doesn't care as long as I'm not streaming until 10 30 or 11 o'clock but still I don't I want to be mindful of both of our time but um there was there it is there, there it is guys the, the last secret that I was very concerned that I I was gonna miss because I didn't know where it was but um yeah I don't I don't I really don't think I'm gonna have time for it honestly it's because I got stuck on the first level spent a little too much time I spent a little too much time in level one and two honestly I really did more time than I wanted to oh what's over here what the hell is this I dare you to get all the ow all the emeralds well that's gonna be a challenge late and not a great one. Oh, okay so we're oh, what the frick Oh, jeez, that's where that is. Um, yeah, like, I mean, you know, that'll be fun. That will definitely be a fun time playing that. I I'm trying to decide if I should play level four or not. Because I don't know how long it's going to take me to finish level four, in all honesty, guys. Um, but it's just because, like, it's not a long level. You know what? Speed run right now, guys. Speed run. Let's do it. <laughs> All right, let's level three. I want to do level four and finish it. Let's do it. Cause I do want to. I do want to play this level and get past the first section. All right, here we go. Okay. So this level, right up here, we have a uh, Tomb Raider, or excuse me, a uh, Indiana Jones moment here with a boulder. Just make sure you don't get hit by it. So, uh, there you go. Pull this lever. It's going to open some doors for you, but also reveal some T-Rexes. Kill it. 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 Laura, kill it. Oh, my God. All right. So, we need to open these three doors right here. There's three of them. You can't tell, but there is. Uh, we need to go this way to do that, so let's do it. I'm gonna try to get through this level pretty quickly, guys, and stop playing around. Let's get let's get time to get serious. All right, so first level I'm gonna do is a chicken because the chicken is the hardest level, or it's the hardest one. So this one is a pain to do. So I'm gonna do it first. Screw it. All right, cool. I'm gonna do this one first because it's kind of, or excuse me, it's very challenging. Um, and there's our first example of spike traps right there. And uh, if you walk into that, you're dead. So don't walk into the spikes. Uh, don't fall. Actually, you can walk through the spikes and not die, but you can't run into the spikes, and you can't, and you can't, uh, you can't uh, drop on them, or you'll die. You're dead. You die. That's it. It's game over. All right. So this level, guys, or this part right here, this um. This one we're trying to do here is not easy. And the reason why it's not easy is because you have to kind of... You have to keep in mind what's going on in this room and what you're trying to do. Because it's very easy to be like, oh, I solved the puzzle. And then you're like, oh, but I did not solve the puzzle because I'm missing something. So, allow me to um, kind of figure out if I'm... Why did I just hear a lover? I literally just heard a lover, guys. All right, hold on. Hold on one sec. I need to figure out how I'm doing this because I have no idea. I wouldn't know. Okay, so I need that to come out and I need that one to come out as well. So, okay, let's just let's just figure this out. Okay. That pushes it back. And I cannot get access to that from here. If that is that right? Am I right in, in, in thinking that I can't get I cannot get access to that from here? Oh, okay, I can. So okay, 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 okay. Okay. Uh okay, let's think about this. Um So that lever moves this one? Oh god, this this one always I always get stumped on this guys. I really do. 
Oh, jeez. Um, okay. Focus, just Focus. Light. I'm totally down for you to send me a request on Steam. Just you can literally look up my channel name and you'll find it. Um, okay. Um, jeez. Think real hard, just This one. The only reason why this one always stumps me is because you have to pull the levers in a particular order in order to do this properly. Okay, so let me see what that did. That moves that one over. Okay. So, ah, oh, jeez. Okay, so that one moves it over. Okay. Laura, jeez, don't freaking die. That moves it over, and that's where I want it to be. But where does this one move it to? This one right here. Where does this one move? Okay. That's actually... That's, um... That's perfect. That's actually how I want it. Oh my god, I didn't have to spend so much time trying to figure it out. How many levels, or how many secrets are here? There's three? Okay, because I know where, like, two of them are. I don't remember where the third one is. I'm trying to remember where, where the third secret is. Um, okay, cool. And honestly... I don't know if I want to stress about that. Oh, actually, I do know where the third secret is. Okay, cool. So this won't be difficult at all. We can finish this in good time. We can, guys. We got this. We got this. Just don't fall on the spikes. Uh, <laughs> uh, don't fall on the spikes, please. Okay. Okay, so... Go ahead and jump over and... Um, go ahead and do that. Okay, cool. Uh, did I hear more dinosaurs? Oh, this freaking creepy thing. Okay. Now we're gonna just jump over here. We're gonna drop down. Alright, cool. So this one is the hardest one, in my opinion. Just because you have to kind of pull this, the levers in a particular order. Which is like pulling one and then pulling the other. Which doesn't sound too difficult, but it confuses me. Stupid dinosaurs. Screw you. Screw you. Okay chicken okay so chicken uh, uh this one we're doing this one ow okay well uh that, that went very well uh <laughs> okay so the 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 okay uh, uh yep okay and um okay and that's that okay and uh we come here and we pull this lever and but we can't because it's a trap and then we fall and then there's wolves and they're trying to kill us and they're trying to kill us and and die okay <laughs> all right honestly like um i do spend a lot of time on steam compared to my switch i really don't play on my switch as often as i want to and i think that's just because <sighs> I just think that PC just offers a lot more different games than what Nintendo can offer, which is primarily their Nintendo games. And any games that they have um, that are on Steam are better on Steam anyways. You know, and also I have the Legion Go now, so I can play all my Steam games uh, on my Legion Go, which is, you know, it's a very nice um, display, like a really large display for me to look at when playing my playing my games i mean i could play this game on my legion go literally sitting in my car if i wanted to but um you know but i can't do that with the switch you know i can't play pc games on my pc but also play it on my other device like you know does that make any sense i don't know i mean with the switch is like you just play on the switch or you play on your tv which i guess you could say is similar to this but you get i don't know i just feel like you get a lot more access um, to a large majority of games to play. I'm gonna go ahead and drop down. Alright. Uh, so that's that. Chicken's done. That's done. Okay, this one. That's where this guy came from, I think. Alright, so this one is a little tricky. We're gonna push this. Like this. Uh, okay, push this again. And then we're going to move this. All 
All right. Let's pull this. Be very careful because there is now spikes below us and I'm not falling in that. Okay, cool. So that's all three. We're good. We're very good, very good. Okay, okay, okay. <clears throat> very good, very good. Alright, cool. Now we can go this way. And this will lead us to... <clears throat> this will lead us to the artifact, which is actually up here. Oh. Hello. Hello, arrows. Oh. Okay. Uh, secret is right here, guys. Here it is, right behind here. Okay, so here's secret... So there's two secrets here, actually. I'm going to go over it right now with you guys. <clears throat> Save the game before you do this. Jump over here. Grab these shotgun shells, because this is secret number one. Um, secret number two is right below here. You're going to see that there are a bunch of spikes below you. As you can see, there's a lot of spikes below us. If we have Laura shimmy over to the right side and drop down, she will not get killed by the spikes. Hopefully. Okay, good. Here's secret number two. So you actually can walk through spikes, uh, believe it or not, but you can't run through them. So I can walk through the spikes, but I can't run through them. And I have to be very careful how I do this because I don't want to jump into the spike. There we go. All right, so next part is getting out of here. So um, let's see here. There we go. All right, cool. We're good. We're good. We got the stuff. We got the stuff. Let's get out of here. Okay. All right, we're doing pretty good, actually. When was, what was it, like 9.30? Or like 9.25 when I was about to start this level? Oh, secret. See these guys right here? He's, he's looking at me. You see him? He's looking at me. Hi. Are we friends? Oh. Oh. He just fell over. He doesn't actually attack us. Very interesting. All right. Here's the, um, here's the uh, artifact. We got it. Uh-oh. But it's time to get out of here like Indiana Jones. Uh, uh, let's go. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Gotta run, gotta go, gotta leave, let's go. Gonna head out of here. Gonna not, gonna die, let's get, uh, uh, okay, yep. That's nice. Um, don't get hit by that, cause you will die. We're leaving, we're going, bye. We got the artifact. We gotta go for the secret next. The secret is right over here. There's a health bar, we'll talk about that in a second. The secret is in here look at that look at that atrocity is on point here look at this secret right here bam over here okay i sent it to you yeah i would change your late yeah change your name to light you know that's that's kind of what you have it for like everything oh we missed something we missed a drop but it is okay I'm not going to stress over it. It's probably something that I overlooked. It's fine. I don't care. As long as we get all the secrets, that's all I want is getting all the secrets. And we got this done in 12 minutes. So that's actually really not bad at all, guys. So let's go deal with what's-his-face um, who was shooting at us, which is Larson. Larson is actually uh, right up here. So let's go give him a piece of my mind. Larson, stop shooting at me. Die! Oh god, he's oh god, he's about to annihilate me. Jesus! Christ. Oh my god! Die! I hate when the game does that blinking stuff because it makes me think I'm dead. Oh my god! Die! Stay! Stay down! Well, you have my total attention now. I'm not quite sure if I've got yours though. 
Hello? I'll heal and hide you to a barn door yet. Of course. You and that driveling piece of the ski on. You want to keep it so bad, I'll harness it right up your... Wait. We're talking about the artifact here? Damn straight we are. Right up. Hold on. I I'm sorry. This piece, you say? Where's the rest? Miss Natler put Pierre Dupont on that trail. And where is that? Ha! You ain't fast enough for him. So you think all this talking is just holding me up? I don't know where his little jackrabbit frog legs are running him to. You'll have to ask Miss Natler. <laughs> Thank you. I will. Yep. All right. That's it, guys. We are done. I'm going to go ahead and play this last cutscene, and we're going to end the live stream here. Let's go ahead and do it. doing some illegal stuff right now as you can see she is crazy she really is guys it's like what is she doing dude just Relocated an now to St. Francis's <laughs> Folly, new temptations torment me. Yep. Rumor amongst my fellow brothers is that entombed beneath our monastery is the body of Tiokin, one of the three legendary rulers of the lost continent Atlantis, and that with him lies his piece of the Atlantean skill, a pendant divided and shared between the three rulers, mm -hmm. which curbs tremendous powers. Powers beyond the creator himself. My toes sweat at such possibilities, lying so close to my mortal self. Each night, I beat myself rid of these fantasies. Justin, best it is streamer, best YouTuber test. on this platform. <laughs> Pierre, you little bug. Pierre, you little bug. Oh, Ash, you joined the stream a little late. I'm actually about to wrap up the stream. Aw. Aw, that's sad. Well, this is Tomb Raider. And, uh, I just beat the first four levels of the game. You know? Hey, 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 Okay, I just got literally effed in the corner by that lion, but we won't talk about that. But, um, anyways... <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and use a full mini pack. Why not? Um, yeah, guys. Um, this is the next section. There's um, there's four parts to this game. This is part. Uh, this is part two. So we just did the first section. This is the second section of the game. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Unfortunately, yeah. I actually just finished the stream. Um, I just did the first, uh, four levels in the game. Um, yeah. <laughs> um, am I gonna be able to do this one? I might be. I'm actually, like, looking at my live streams for, um, Friday. Or, excuse me, not Friday. Thursday and Saturday. Oh. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I just finished up. Honestly, though, well, we got pretty we got pretty far. I mean, I got the first four levels done in the game. This game has 15 levels, guys, and I just got the first four done. But um, yeah, not bad, not bad at all. <laughs> but yeah, I got to end this live stream here, guys, cuz I have work in the morning and uh Jen and I both need to um head to bed so um yeah that is pretty much it uh, i'm sorry to those who have missed it um i did start the live stream at my typical time which is eight o'clock uh, i'm gonna be doing live streams every tuesday and thursday and maybe do one on either friday or saturday but that will be on a week to week basis thank you light <laughs> honestly i feel like i do play a large variety 
of different games on the channel and I'm trying to expand that as much as I can with you guys recommending games for me to play like Dark Souls which we'll get to you know um, so yeah that's pretty much it uh, you know we got decently far uh, next time we are gonna do the next okay actually no promises cuz the next this what is it four or five um, this area has about five five levels no yeah it does this area has five levels this is a very lo long section of the game so it's probably gonna take me a couple live streams to finish it um, but yeah you speak Japanese that's pretty cool um, but yeah I appreciate you guys coming in liking the stream and supporting as always thank you Ash thank you like thank you to everyone else who watched thank you uh, shiny burrito uh, for subscribing I appreciate that we will be finishing up this live stream for now uh, I will be back on Thursday returning back to breath of the wild because I do want to continue that game and then Saturday, I am going to be playing, um, Saturday, I'm, I'm hoping to finish Chibi-Robo, but I'm not 100% sure because I have plans in the afternoon, so I'm not sure how that's going to go, but I'm planning on doing, like, a late night stream. We'll see. Um, we'll see. You know, maybe I'll do that. But, uh, yeah. So, with that being said, guys, uh, I'm going to end the live stream here. Uh, if you guys enjoyed this live stream of Tomb Raider Remastered, which is Tomb Raider 1, be sure to like, comment, and share. Smash that subscribe button for more, and remember to watch out for more live streams from Trosity. And I will see you guys in the next live stream, which will be this Thursday for The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. I really love watching you. We need to get to 350. We need to get to 350. I know. Just like this shirt says. <laughs> You are witnessing greatness. <laughs> but yeah, definitely. Very soon. Appreciate that light. I will be back Thursday. Tuesday, Thursday, and then Saturday will be my live stream schedule. Uh, but yeah, I really appreciate all of you watching today. And it was it was a good time. It was a good time. And then we're going to... Hold on. I'm going to check my calendar here. So we got Breath of the Wild Thursday, we got Chibi Robo Saturday, next Tuesday is Resident Evil 4, and then um, I'm actually, oh we gotta reschedule some stuff actually, yeah. Now I wanna go back to Final Fantasy 15 as well. Um, wait Justin, did you go outside today? It was very warm. It was very nice today, we had good weather, um, very very good weather, um, you know. I'm gonna go outside practice riding my bike. It's been New Year since I rode a bike. Uh, so Jen, she rides um, her mountain bike all the time. She's into biking. It's really perfect weather for that. Perfect weather for that right now. Um, I'm not into riding bikes as much as I used to be, but it's pretty cool. Pretty cool activity, you know. Get outside and enjoy the weather. Uh, but it was a nice day today. You're not buffering as bad. Yeah, I have new internet, and I'm with my let's just say my computer is adjusting to this new internet, and it's not bad. It's good internet. It's just it's just in a different location. So next month is Dark Souls. Um, I'm hoping to get Dark Souls on my calendar pretty soon, like pretty soon. Uh, maybe within the next couple of weeks we can do a Dark Souls stream. Um, if you really want to see that over anything else, I'll I'll put it on I'll put it on there. It, you know, it won't be pretty, but it'll be something. <laughs> it'll be a it'll be a very interesting stream. But I'll use training wheels because I don't remember how to ride a bike without training wheels. Yeah, yeah, that would help. Honestly, um, that would help a lot. But yeah, guys, I really appreciate all of you guys watching. Um, I will definitely put Dark Souls. Uh, as a live stream probably within the next couple of weeks I'll be able to put that on uh, I want to get back to Final Fantasy 15 and F Resident Evil 4 and finish up Chibi Robo and also finish up all the other games guys always check out the channel I keep all my live streams on the channel for upcoming live streams so you can always see what game I'm gonna play next on what day and what time so always keep that in mind um, I do have Paper Mario scheduled out 
a month in advance for the remake coming out May 23rd. I will be playing Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door, which is coming out on the Nintendo Switch next month, May 23rd. So keep that in mind. I will be playing that game too. Um, but yeah, with that being said, guys, I'm going to end the stream here. You love seeing people rage. I will rage, but I will have to keep it under control because uh, <laughs> uh, I'm not... It's a, The place I live in is not the same. You know what I mean? I will be... I will be heard. I will definitely be heard raging. Whereas with my old apartment, uh, the building was like made out of solid wall, so you could barely hear people. For the most part, it was a very quiet building. Just want to see him say. <laughs> Seriously, that will happen. It will. But yeah, guys, um, I'm gonna end the stream here. Um, let me go to the main menu. Hold on, real quick. Um. Yeah, gonna save and then we're gonna exit to the main menu, but I really gotta end the stream because it's about to be 10 o'clock. So, uh, yes, guys, thank you so much for watching. I will be back for more live streams this Thursday and this Saturday and the following week and the following week and many weeks to come. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye bye. And enjoy this amazing music, by the way. It's so amazing. Just enjoy it. It's, it's nice.